Hello, and welcome to Steamy Stories, written by J.C. Calciano, and narrated by me, Casey. Before we begin, we wanted to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Whether you live in the States or somewhere else in the world, we hope you can enjoy this season with your loved ones, safe, healthy, and in peace. Now, let's begin. Today's Steamy Stories episode is titled, An Unexpected Holiday Guest. Tyler couldn't be more excited to move into his own apartment. At 25 years old, he finally was able to land a good job as a researcher for an online investment company and live on his own. A self-proclaimed fitness fanatic, he worked hard at keeping fit and maintaining a clean, attractive appearance. His hair was short and fashionably cut. His clean-shaven face was fresh and handsome. He was told he resembled Sean Mendez, a compliment he'd gladly accept. Tyler was always a hard worker, as well as being very independent. The first few years out of college, he lived with his family. But now, it was time for him to leave the nest. The apartment he chose to rent was an impressively large two-bedroom with a picture window facing a quaint local park and was centrally located in a fashionable part of the city. Now that he was fully settled in and comfortable, he couldn't wait to share it with his family. Mom couldn't wait to come over and help provide a woman's touch to it. She trusted her son's tastes, but knew however lovely it may be, a mother's warmth would make any place a home. Tyler's excitement led him to offer to host a Thanksgiving dinner this year. This was a suggestion he now regretted. His mom insisted not to worry. I'll be there to help you. The day that seemed so far off was suddenly upon them, but Tyler was ready. It was four o'clock, and the finishing touches were put on the decor. Fragrant candles lit, and the final touches on the homemade pumpkin pie were added. Mom promised to cook the turkey at her place and some of the side dishes and bring them over. Tyler certainly wasn't going to argue with having someone help him with the cooking. Everything seemed all set for the day. It was a mere two hours before his mother, father, and sister would arrive. He'd readied himself for the shower and poured himself a quick glass of wine before they arrived. Disrobed, and a mere two feet from entering the shower, his phone rang, and the number revealed that it was his mother calling. Cautiously, he answered, Is everything okay? Mom's voice was upbeat and cheerful. There wasn't a disaster looming as he feared, His mother continued as she chose her words carefully. Honey, you know I'd never ask this, especially this late, but your sister asked me if it would be okay if she brought over her boyfriend. Tyler wasn't in the mood for drama at this point. The thought, why didn't my sister just call me directly about this? Who is this dude? I didn't even know she was dating anyone, flashed through his mind. But... None of that mattered. He knew there would be plenty of food, and his sister's friends were always pretty cool. Sure, Mom, tell her to bring him. It's not a problem. I'm totally fine with it. Tyler agreed in an attempt to rush her off the phone so he could finally get to his shower. Yep, Mom, no one should be alone during the holidays. I'll see you soon. Once cleaned, dressed, and primed with a healthy pour of vino, A second table was put out, and our host eagerly awaited his guests to arrive. The doorbell rang. The sound surprised him at first. Do I even have a doorbell? Where is it? He wondered. How did someone get past the security gate? Upon opening the door to welcome his family, he glanced at the wall near the entryway. Sure enough, there was a doorbell there. 
His sister, a perky, pleasant, adorable millennial named Janine, chimed in quickly. The gate was propped open with a rock. Without missing a beat, she entered the apartment as if she had been there a thousand times before. She was with a man slightly older than she was in tow. Janine wasted no time in introducing him as Stefan. Mom and Dad swiftly entered as well, as both of them were eager to put down the multitude of silver trays in their arms, all containing food. Tyler was thrilled to see his parents and impressed with the bounty of food they graciously provided, but his focus was quickly drawn away from his family and was fixated on his guest, Stefan. A towering mass of manhood at 22 years old, he radiated wholesome good looks. His short brown hair was almost too perfectly combed. He had inviting green eyes and a crisp white smile. He was just shy of six foot two inches and dressed in a white and blue striped button-down shirt. He wore eyeglasses that were oddly unassuming. One surely couldn't help but think of Clark Kent when they saw him. Tyler knew that his modest, conservative fashion choice concealed what was evident. A Superman underneath. Tyler was happy to show everyone around his apartment before they settled in for supper. He was proud of what he accomplished in a few weeks with a modest budget and was eager to show off his new place. The firm pat on the back from his dad signaled his approval of what he had accomplished. Nicely done, son. I'm proud of you. This provided Tyler with a strange swell of happiness that he hadn't expected. Well, that's the tour. It's only four rooms. Now, can I get everyone boozed up so my contributions to tonight's meal will taste good? Tyler asked as he laughed proudly displaying his new, freshly stocked bar. Mom wasted no time in familiarizing herself with the kitchen, as Dad did his best to help her. Janine occupied herself on her phone, leaving Tyler to entertain her boyfriend. So, how did you meet my sister? Was the first question that came to mind. Best to start with simple conversation and eventually get to more interesting subjects, like how did my sister nab a stone-cold fox like you? Tyler did his best to seem casual about the topics the two men chatted about, but the truth of the matter was that he couldn't take his eyes off the hunk seated in his home. Stefan was just the perfect blend of sexy geek and muscle god, that Tyler found attractive. Stefan answered Tyler's questions bashfully at first, as he continually apologized for being invited last minute to the intimate family holiday. He wanted to make it clear that it was Janine's idea for him to come tonight. He explained that he and Janine met at the office, where she's a salesperson and he's a lab technician. She insisted her brother would enjoy meeting him, and that his family welcomed strangers into their homes with open arms, especially during the holidays. Make you a drink? What are you having? Tyler queried. Stefan hesitantly wondered if he had Campari in his well-equipped bar, and if he could make a spritzer. Tyler eagerly headed to the bar to show off his mixology skills. Sure, I love those. That's easy for me. The family soon gathered at the large, beautifully decorated table centered in the dining room. Candles with dried leaves and flowers as a centerpiece? How Martha Stewart of you! Mom commented, giving props to her son's decorating skills. Turkey, gravy, corn, yams, casserole, cranberry sauce, and stuffing. It was the ideal, traditional holiday feast. Tyler found himself strategically seated across from Stefan during dinner. As hard as he tried to not stare at the inviting eyes of his guest, he couldn't resist glancing over at the sweet, innocent lips smiling back at him. This guy was just too damn adorable, he thought. 
as everyone chatted innocently around him. It became clearer and clearer to Tyler that he had more in common with his sister's boyfriend than she did. How did my sister get so lucky? Yes, he's a bit of a nerd, but that rock-hard body hiding under his shirt? Oh, it makes him irresistible. The conversation was lively amongst the family members. Tyler fought the urge to interrogate his guest and ask too many questions about his relationship with his sister. She had better not let this one get away, Tyler thought. But on the other hand, maybe it would be for the best if they broke up. He wasn't sure if he could live the rest of his life lusting after his brother-in-law. Dinner was finally over, and Stefan offered to help clear the table. His sister feigned needing to go to the bathroom after the meal, a ruse she'd used many times before to escape the cleaning that followed a meal with a lot of dishes. As the two men loaded the dishwasher, Tyler couldn't help but stare at Stefan's ass as he bent over and packed the utensils. Those jeans fit him perfectly, and he looks fantastic in them. I know I shouldn't be lusting over my sister's boyfriend, but... Wow! Tyler tried to get his mind out of the gutter, so small talk seemed to be the best bet. So, other than working with my sister, what hobbies do you have? Tyler had to know just how perfect this man was. There must be something about him that would make him a terrible choice of a partner. For him. Stefan innocently answered, Uh, not much to tell. I'm from the Midwest, a small town with a lovely family. Mom, dad, sister, just like you. I hated to leave them, but the city was the only place I could find a job in the medical field. One day I'll have my own research lab and be a full-fledged virologist. He cleared his throat and looked down bashfully. I'm not much for social gatherings or going out with the guys. That's why it was so nice to be included as part of your family this holiday. Other than classic horror movies, baking, and uh, obscure indie music, there's really not much to me. Tyler was getting more and more frustrated by Stefan. He not only enjoyed everything he just mentioned, but the adorable way he described his interests was a welcome departure from the usual bravado the guys he knew had. The more the two men talked, the more he found himself getting sexually frustrated by his guest's presence. The fact that they were alone in his small, hot kitchen wasn't helping. I need to get back to my family and return this guy to my sister before I jump his bones right here on the counter. Before Tyler could act out his fantasy of making out with this stud against the refrigerator, Tyler's mom innocently entered the kitchen. Is dessert ready? Oh good, I see the coffee's done. She grabbed the hot carafe and headed back to the dining room. Stefan instinctively put on oven mitts and helped carry the hot dessert out to the table. Tyler giggled to himself, Another minute alone with this stud, and he would have been my dessert tonight. Saved by the souffle. As the family once again gathered around the table, Stefan appeared to focus his efforts on getting to know Tyler better, rather than fawning over his date. Stefan asked a string of questions, seemingly intrigued by his host. So, Tyler, what's your favorite film? Your desert island food? The last concert you attended? Tyler found it odd that Janine didn't seem to mind attention being focused on her brother, rather than her. The evening got later, and later, and the holiday dinner drew to a close. Mom and Dad readied for the hour-long ride home, and Janine and Stefan agreed that it was best to retire for the night. The fridge was all packed up, and the dishes were washed and put away. The guests bid their farewell as they put on their coats. 
Stefan gave Tyler an earnest handshake. I enjoyed tonight tremendously. You're lucky to have such a wonderful family. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of your holiday this year. I had a blast and hope to see you again soon. Me too, Tyler sincerely replied. You're welcome back anytime. You were the perfect guest. Stefan went in for a bro hug on a secondary farewell. This goodbye certainly was more intimate than the earlier handshake he received. Tyler wondered if he just imagined it, or if Stefan's embrace truly was a bit tighter and lasted longer than the usual goodbye among friends. Silly me, he mused. I'm just letting my wild imagination get to me. I'm sure it was nothing more than a strong, affectionate hug between buddies. I'm just letting my wild fantasies run amok again. Although he needed to admit that being in Stefan's big, strong, powerful arms felt wonderful. The door closed and the family was now gone. It was time to slip into his sleep shorts and go to bed. As tired as Tyler was after the day, he knew that falling off into a peaceful slumber would be practically impossible at this point. There was no denying that as soon as he hit the bed, his mind would immediately reflect upon what transpired this evening with Stefan. He would think about the powerful, muscular build and sexy face framed by those almost nerdy glasses. Though hard as he tried to clear his head from the hunk who had just left, he couldn't shake the lingering images of the impeccable fitting jeans. Tyler's mind wouldn't stop reeling from how hot his sister's boyfriend was. The following morning was peaceful and quiet, a welcome day off from work, with the plan to just bum around the new apartment. Tyler had just sat down to enjoy his morning coffee when his sister's name appeared on his phone's caller ID. Hey, sis, is everything okay? I just saw you 12 hours ago. What's up? Tyler tried to act casual about the call, but the truth was he couldn't wait to ask about the hunk she was dating. And Janine needed no prompting to talk about Stefan as she instantly inquired. So, what did you think? Sexy, right? Tyler decided that it was best to play it cool during the call. Let's not be the desperate gay brother that lusts after his sister's date and talks gossip about boys. Yeah, he was cute. She laughed loudly in a lighthearted tone. I know you think he's hot. He thought the same thing about you. Tyler hadn't been adequately caffeinated yet, so this conversation still wasn't making sense. He asked for clarity. Uh, let me get this straight. You and your boyfriend discussed how hot I was last night? That's weird. Janine screamed with laughter. My boyfriend? Who said he was my boyfriend? Tyler was now even more confused as he tried to clarify what was happening. Mom said that you wanted to bring your boyfriend over for Thanksgiving dinner. That's why I agreed to it. I figured you were dating someone. No, I told mom my guy friend had nowhere to go for the holiday, so I asked if you'd mind him joining us for dinner. He was invited for you, not me. Tyler joined his sister as she continued to laugh at the misunderstanding. He found himself needing to know more and more about what happened. As a matter of fact, he liked you so much, he asked me for your phone number. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to let you know that I gave it to him. At that moment, Tyler's phone's call waiting signaled him. Unknown caller. What's that? Janine asked curiously as to what was wrong with the connection. My other line is ringing. My call waiting. She wasted no time in excitedly yelling. Get it! It's probably him. I bet he's calling you! She quickly hung up without saying goodbye. Tyler acted without a second thought and clicked over to the incoming call. Hello? He eagerly answered. Hi, Tyler. 
It's Stefan from last night. Tyler couldn't help but stand up and fist pump the air as if his team had just scored a goal. Don't act too excited. After a deep, relaxing breath, he continued. Hi, Stefan. Great to hear from you. Thanks for coming by last night. I hope you had a great time. I did, he replied. I wanted to thank you again for having me over. It was very sweet of you to open your home to a stranger. I wanted to show my appreciation for your generosity by perhaps inviting you to dinner tonight. Tyler's urge to respond with a quick, loud, yes, fortunately was channeled into a more subtle response. Sure, I'm free tonight, but rather than going out, you could come here. I have tons of leftovers. If you don't mind, I could just warm up what I have in the fridge. Stefan loved the idea. If you're sure it's okay with you, I'd love it. I could bring a nice Cabernet. There's a vintage I've been dying to try out. I noticed you appreciate a good bottle of wine, so I'll bring something wonderful for us to enjoy. Tyler was excited. Perfect. See you at seven then. You know the place. What was to be a lazy, leisurely afternoon turned into a day of excited, eager anticipation. At precisely 7 p.m., Tyler's doorbell rang. Really? Does that security gate even work? He chuckled to himself. Tyler swiftly answered the door. Stefan entered and warmly kissed him hello. What seemingly started as an innocent greeting turned into a long, deep, Fiery kiss. Stefan quickly placed the bottle of wine on a nearby bookshelf and proceeded to pin Tyler against the wall. He once again kissed him, this time more eagerly than before. A minute or so later, Stefan stopped to take a deep breath. He explained, I wanted to do that all last night, but with your family here, I thought it wouldn't be appropriate. Tyler disagreed. Nah, it would have been fine. Certainly, it would have been good with me. They kissed again as the door closed behind them. He then teased, Boy, you really must have enjoyed my cooking since you came back for it a second time. Stefan's smile transformed into a naughty grin as he replied, Your turkey was delicious. And the casserole perfection, but... To be honest, I'm here tonight for the stuffing. Done, Tyler hastily exclaimed as he didn't need to hear any more. He took Stefan's hand and escorted him into the bedroom. Later that night, they finished off the rest of the leftovers. Love steamy stories? Then tell a friend. Leave a comment, share, or rate us on Apple Podcasts. This is the season of giving. So give your buddy a little treat and tell them about Steamy Stories. This has been Steamy Stories, written by J.C. Calciano and narrated by yours truly, Casey. We hope you have a wonderful holiday and make sure you tune in next time for another episode of Steamy Stories. Later, bro.